thermodynamics. So what is thermodynamics? Thermodynamics is the study of the relations between heat, work, temperature, and energy. The laws of thermodynamics describe how the energy in a system changes and whether the system can perform useful work on its surroundings. The laws of thermodynamics governs the working of heating and air conditioner system, refrigerator, electric iron, and so many devices. Also, the design and analysis of rockets, jet engines, in a car are based on the laws of thermodynamics. Hi, good day. I'm Nimitz Primorade. In this video, we are going to talk about thermodynamics and solving problems that are closely related to energy. But before we proceed, let us define first what is energy. So what is energy? Energy is the ability to do work, to make things happen, and to cause changes. Energy cannot be made or destroyed. It can only be changed into different forms. We classify energy in two ways. First is kinetic energy. Kinetic energy is the energy of an object in motion. Anything that is moving has kinetic energy. Second is the potential energy. Potential energy, which is the amount of energy something has stored inside on it. So now, let's proceed to our sample problem. A hydraulic hoist raises a 1,750 kg car 1.8 meter in an auto repair shop. The hydraulic pump has a constant pressure of 800 kPa on its piston. So what is the increase in potential energy of the car and how much volume should the pump displace to deliver the amount of work? So we are given the following data. We have the mass of 1,750 kg, the pressure of 800 kPa, and the height of 1.8 meter. So in this problem, we are asked to find the increase in potential energy and how much volume should the pump displace to deliver the amount of work. So let's find first the increase of potential energy. The formula that we are going to use is potential energy is equal to mass times gravity times height. As we can see in our problem that the car is raised in the air. So we are expecting that there is an increase of potential energy happen. The next thing we should do is to plug in all the given data to our formula. So the potential energy is equal to the mass of 1,750 kg and a constant of 9.81 for gravity and a height of 1.8. Then multiply 1,750 times 9.81 times 1.8 is equal to 30.9 kJ. So this is the value of our potential energy. Since there is no kinetic energy and all work is done is given by increase of potential energy, we use the formula of work is equal to potential energy. We can also write work like this. Work is equal to pressure times volume. Since we are asked to find the volume, we are going to rearrange the formula. So we have V is equal to work over pressure. So we can also write this volume is equal to mass times gravity times height divide the pressure. Then substitute our values we obtain. So volume is equal to the mass of 1750 times the constant of 9.81 for gravity times 1.8 meter divided by 800 times 10 raised to 3 then simplify so 1750 times 9.81 times 1.8 divide 800 times 10 raised to 3 we have the volume of 0 0.038 cubic meter so this is now the value of our volume 